What is happening, y'all? Welcome home back. So first thing we're gonna do is go outside and level up. Apparently it didn't save my levels, uh, but I did reach out to the devs, confirmed it was actually a bug they had done. There was like a, a day one balancing patch that was coming out, so you can see now it is going up, even though this is this is actually less attack power than I had at uh, 20 dex pre-patch, but we now know that scaling is working, so that's a, uh, to load off my mind. I also mentioned how you have to hit, like, up on the D-pad to change stuff, so for now, we're gonna actually put this in that slot, because down just feels, like, way more natural, I feel. Uh, let's go you, and then you. Oh, yeah, so now when I hit down, I'll go to that instead. So, we are gonna warp back. Gonna travel on out of here. Old ribbons. I think that's... No, this one. There's that door over there. That's probably still locked. Should I try to run for it real fast? No, I don't think I can get that. It's probably access to a double jump. So let's go to the East District and we'll continue along. Whoa, 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 guy, listen. Let's go down first. the devs the, the like tinniness on the jump like it almost sounds like the jump was recorded with like an echo or something so they're aware of that they're aware of the you hit down and it cycles to the last items which is just you know non-standard From what I've played so far, I will say the uh, the Castlevania meets Bloodborne is definitely accurate. Because this combat feels way more Castlevania-esque than like a more traditional Metroidvania, like, you know, say Blasphemous or Hollow Knight. Uh, old Ashes, ooh. It's down here. That just takes me back, I think. Is there a jump? Or the old ashes. Old ashes. Fire. Lunge forward, instantly generating a fire explosion. Sounds pretty pretty red. Um, but yeah, combat combat feels very, you know, classic uh, Castlevania to me. But like this music, this music is 100% Bloodborne. What is this? So there's like multiple seals that we need to bust open to go that way. And they hired a team for the music. What kind of music do you want? And they're like, do you know how to play a slow, depressing violin? Uh, yeah, but you can do that good. They give the first draft. How is it? More slow and more depressing. Ah, here's the door I'm looking for. Alright, well, I guess we go down. Give me my bonus. Yeah, so far initial, I'm leaning towards... I'm leaning more magic than guns. Let's test this spell out. Oh, it's like a fireball punch. like that. It's very flashy. Ooh. 
Oh, she makes blood puddles. Okay, don't like that. Yeah, I'm die here. So that gives me the elevator that goes back to the east block. Go down here or down in there. Let's go down here first. D Whoa! Hold up. I've seen a couple of those things. Are those all a thousand? Bro, excuse me? There was that zone that a while back that had like two of them and I just was like, oh, I just walked past it. say even if even if Dex isn't my usual playstyle, I think the I'm still leaning strongly towards the more speedy attack feeling more appropriate for this type of game. Also I'm convinced the crit rate is a lie. I feel like I'm critting way more than three percent. boss encounter. No, they're just a regular enemy, but you look like you're gonna hurt. So let me go back the other way, because since that connects, I want to get over there and I can kick down that shortcut. I want a better uh, focus ability, not a focus ability, my, my special, my parry. The parry seems too tight for me to get good usage out of it. I also need to stop using the magic, because if I stopped using my magic, I could actually use my, uh, my whole, uh, you know, extend weapon to whoop ass move. Which I feel like is what I should be doing. But the magic's really, really satisfying. I'm thinking maybe I want to go mind instead. So maybe I just need to practice the parry more. Particular cold one measuring about five and a half meters, allowing stable flight. That's not good. Some of these dark corners like that, I'm like, my, my brain is like, there's a hidden wall there, bro, open it. But then I hit it and there's nothing. Sooner or later, I'm gonna find one. There we go, it got me one. I go through. I haven't gone through that yet. It's interesting. Where are we? Hang on, this looks familiar. So that will well, let me ride it real fast just to have it populate on the map. Let me go check something. I don't know. They, they probably respawn, but... This is where dude was. I want to go back to where those, those red things were. I want to see if those are actually always a thousand, or if that just happened to be some rare piece of loot. Little bit farther than this. 
I know, I can't rescue you right now. Is it down here? No, it was up higher, I think. It was up this way. Where the hell was it? Where the hell was it? In uh getting turned around. Damn, they are a thousand. some big points. Where was it? I remember, maybe it's just those two. I thought I remembered like a dude standing next to two of them. Um, let me look at my map real fast. So I want to go back over there. Let's, I have like 5,000. Back here. This one... Alright, and then where was I going? I was going down from this spot. I think. Yeah, 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 okay. So let's... Alright, well this is a good warp back spot. We can warp back and spend our stuff. Sting right there. It's, it feels like it's straight out of Bloodborne. Man, I'm getting such dookie stats for this. I'm getting a lot of points though. Increase my foe. You do. Mm. Let's go. Let's get up to like 20, 25, and then I might start focusing mind a little bit to increase the focus. Tis a strange manner. A place of ancient splendor. Home of the Oxnabils. Now forever tainted by the ones who called it home. Through twistedness and bad omen, people sought solitude. Okay, I was East District shortcuts down. This way. Yes, okay. Just keep whacking every corner until I find something. Guessing that's something I interact with later. Corrupted Star. The use and study of corrupted stars were considered forbidden by the Ethereal Order to the original connection of the daughters of Night Tide. That sounds badass. What is the no, is it a spell? It is. Focus cost eight. Dark 70, 120, 200. Uh Okay, so this is an instinct. This is more mind. This is really mind. Interesting. So this is like bullet-esque. 
Let's try that. That sounds cool. Um, let me... Uh, let me use this. Uh, nope. How do I place pin? I'll use the question mark to signify that block. Feels like I'm walking into a boss fight. What was that other path? It's up here, I guess, with that lady that we saw? That I was like, oh, it's a boss, and then it just turned out to be like a normal enemy. It's really uncomfortable walking through both those spots and not having anything attack me. Okay, another one of those weird doors. This is probably that thing I need, the uh, the smooth hand wall climb thing. Alright, so let's go back up. This feels like I should have fought a boss here. This area specifically. Or some kind of significant quest that occurs. Dude, look, it applied a, a damage over time effect, too. Yeah, that's really cool. Oh, no, you are an NPC. Where you are. I do not wish to be disturbed. My apologies. Yet I cannot help but notice your anguish. Not anguish, but an acceptance of the truth that has evaded me for so long. Tell me, what are you? Eric. I know whom you are, but what is your purpose here? Prayer. Yourself. To mourn. Seek refuge. Many here do. It's a place of acceptance. Finality. Forced upon us by the people up high to save themselves from ailment. A callous man haunts it. One who will doom us all in the end. So, I have accepted my fate. And became familiar with where I am destined to be. Right here. I cannot continue my life until my husband is at peace. This is impossible without the flowers, only found in the sea city. I fear I will never be able to place them here with my beloved. It is a dangerous path, but one your strong heart can sustain. Okay, so find flowers. Another one of those doors. Um, hmm... Well, I can't go this way without what I'm assuming is the wall climber thing. Um, I should do a... NPC that wants... No, it's not that. NPC that wants the flowers there. Let's go up and try to go. Get out of here, little scrappy shit. Catching bullets is not the play, apparently. Nope, oh, wrong button. Shit. That's gonna. I feel like I need to rebind that. I 
There we go. Okay, big gate is open. I'm trying to think what I would bind it to. Because I feel like if I made controls, can I even rebind stuff? No. I mean, I could custom, but I was thinking about making, like, why my secondary attack? But then it would mess with the whole why would become action. The right trigger would become action, so I'd have to tap both to do my, my hold thing. <clears throat> And then my uh, left trigger would still be heal. I think I just got to get used to it. It's a very interesting control scheme. It's one that's not, you know, you have X to attack. Or actually, maybe if I just made right bumper my attack instead of X. But it's like more of a spammy attack. So, you know, it makes, I think it, it makes sense that it's, it's X. Like, I like R1 attacks when they're more, um, you know, concrete, thoughtful, like, I want to attack here. I want, like, souls, you know? Whereas this, this has more of a, uh, almost a Neo feel with the, the quick attacks. Oh, bro. Very... Damn, what did I hit? Oh god, those are like, like, they're spikes, but they're not. Not like that. Static pastilles. Is this like shock application? Yeah. Didn't slap out, didn't slap a door. Hidden wall. No, nothing. Can I pass through it while it's not electrocuting? Oh, God, that hurt. Oh, God. No, don't hit me. Damn. Okay, so the shock status sucks. Temporarily paralysis? That is no bueno, dude. God damn. Okay, no. So one hit does a fair amount of build up on that. Uh, there was nowhere to go here, correct? No, that was the that was the wall. The the double jump. I think so. Let me confirm. Yeah, double jump wall and door. Okay, we're not going that way. Alrighty, let's see. Is that close by? I think it's that one up there.
there was more to explore down here. Ow. fast dude I don't know that that might be a like hey you're gonna need damn well uh, I suppose there's no reason for me to go back that way now I'm curious so I'll, I'll do it anyway dumb decision honestly that's even something I can make it past no, don't get, don't die, don't die, don't die. No, damn, yeah, there's no way. Because I am, I am, that, that was a roll, roll into jump even, which eliminates the roll recovery. That's a, uh, I need to have something to get past that and we're going all the way over there okay let's go over there hopefully there's a arrest a teleport something like that and then that's where we'll wrap up Usually a thousand. Okay, we are not paused. Ooh. Damn. Damn, bro. They almost got me inflicted with whatever the darkness was. I think there was a pathway up top. Was there? Okay, I'm not feeling too hot right now. I'm feeling uh kind of on the edge. spot where is my rest spot it's a checkpoint meaning there's probably a boss coming up another one of these weird blocks a 
Okay, so there must be like a, a dash or something that I'm about to get access to. like a lot of shit. No, there's no way. Absolutely no way we can go that way. turns off like all of them in the castle because that would be big damn I, I, damn oh god what is this what happened oh god it it fucking inversed my controls bro damn that was rough all right well since we died let's wrap up we're, we're making good progress through the Federal Inquisition. Uh, but yeah, we'll continue this in the next part. So stay tuned and I'll catch you all then.